Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the most recent orders for each product and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with two different columns, customer ID and name, customer ID being the primary key for this table and this table contains information about the customers. We are also given a second table called orders with four different columns, order ID, order date, customer ID, product ID. Order ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the orders made by different customers, right, with customer ID in this column. There will be no product ordered by the same user more than once in one day. We are also given a third table called products with three different columns, product ID, product name and price. Product ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains information about the products. Then we are asked to write a SQL query to find the most recent order or orders of each product. The result should be sorted by product name in ascending order in case of a tie by product ID in ascending order and if there is still a tie by order ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example. So here we have five different customers and then various orders, right? And then there are products table, right? So for each of the product, right? So for example, if you see in product ID, so we have one, two, three, right? So one, two, three, so basically there are three different products, right? So if we see for product ID one, product ID one is keyboard, right? So for keyboard, what is the latest or the most recent order? If you see for this is 31st of July, uh, 29th of July, 1st of August, 1st of August, right? So basically 1st of August, it was ordered twice by two different customers, right? And this is the most recent order for product ID one, which is keyboard, right? So that should be there. Now for two, right? So two is mouse. So for two, uh, what is the recent one? 30th of July, 10th of June, 3rd of August and 15th of July. So for uh, mouse, this is the latest one, right? 3rd of August, 2020. So if you see in the output, this is going to be present and that is what we need to do. So the first thing before developing this query is we should, you know, try to join the orders table and products table because we need the name of the product in the output as well, right? We don't need anything related to customers in the output. So if even if we ignore this table for this question, I don't think it is going to make any difference, right? So let's perform a join on orders table and products table using the product ID column and then you know keep certain number of columns so that you know we can proceed further from that okay so from this table called orders alias as o let's left join the products table right alias as p on o dot product id is equal to p dot product id right and now let's keep only certain columns, right? Because we don't need all the columns. And then since we have product ID in both of these, then we will be having to, you know, uh, then there is a problem of ambiguity as well. You know, if we keep all the columns. So let's, you know, what all do we require, right? In the output, we require order ID, order date, product name and product ID, right? So let's only keep that. So we require order ID. So order ID is in the order table. So we keep O dot order id we require order date so o dot order date right we don't require customer id we require product id we can keep product id from both of these let's keep it from the orders table so o dot product id and then we should also keep the product name right so product name is in p dot product name and now let's make a fifth column, which will basically identify the most recent order of each of the product, right? Because that is what we need, right? Most recent order or orders of each product. So what we can do is we can use a window function, you know, we can partition by different product IDs, you know, order by the order date in descending order, and then basically create ranks, 
right? So the most recent gets rank one, then the next one gets rank two, three, etc. Now, as I have already discussed in my previous video, there are three different ranking functions, row number, rank, dense rank. I am going forward here with the rank function. Let me know if you want to, you know, write with the row number or dense rank and like what will it lead to any changes? What are the test cases that it might fail, etc. Or will it fail any test case, etc. Okay. So over, since we are using a window function over, you know, let's partition by partition by the product ID, right? So O dot product ID and then order by right then order by the order date right because the most recent should, should get the rank one so order by order date in decreasing way and then you create ranks so you rank and then let's alias this as rnk or you can alias it whatever like just want to identify right okay so now once we have this we can store this in a common table expression right so with common table expression as right and this entire thing goes in parentheses so now basically if you see what is happening here so after performing a join so for uh, you know we are creating partitions by different product id so for product id one there are one two three and four so all these four rows will be in one partition right and now it will be ordered by order date in descending order right so this one will these two rows will be the first one and here the rank will be assigned one and one right and then what is the next one so we have this row and this row so the next one is 31st of july and then 29th of july now this will be assigned what rank three not two right so that is what you know you need to know about rank uh, rank function and dense rank that if you know there is a tie between two rows then it skips the next one right so the rank skips if you don't want that you can write dense rank so instead of that so one one will be assigned here and then it will be assigned two and this will be assigned three right ranks but here we are using rank and it does not matter because all we care is rank is equal to one because that is going to be the latest one right so any anything you use it does not matter at all so once we have this now what we can do is we are only interested with the most recent word so from this common table expression only keep those rows where rank is equal to one or that is the most recent order or orders right again you see like here on in in this case for product id one there were two rows which was basically same product ordered by two different customers on same date so both of them are assigned rank one so this you know this thing is being taken care of so you don't need to do anything extra right now once we have this what do we need to do is in our output we we need to keep certain rows in a particular order right so what we do is we return product name and if you see all these four different columns since you know by when we perform a join we only kept certain columns right so all these columns of so product name is there product id is there order date is there order id is there right so we don't need to get any more joins or do any more joins to get any other extra out uh, column right so product name then we have product id then we have order id and then we have order date right now it says uh, you know we need to sort the result in certain manner right so by product name product id and order id all in ascending order so we write order by product name in case there is a tie then product id and in case there is still tie then by order id all by ascending order okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. We don't need one table at all. The only thing that we need to keep here in, in mind is that like first perform a join, you know, so that you also have the product name. You can even do that later. Like instead of performing a join here, you can, you know, do this 
create ranks keep only certain rows and after that you can perform a join it does not matter right and then once you have that you only keep the most recent one by using rank equal to one and then you return the columns in a certain order right and then you order by because the question says that right okay let me know if you have a more better way or more efficient way of doing this uh, let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video